loves welcome back to our channel this is jerry and for today's video i have a nintendo switch controller unboxing and review let's go ahead and get right into it all right so the controller that we'll be unboxing and reviewing is the firefly enhanced wireless controller by fun lab and today we have the paw print pattern design let's go ahead and open this up all right, so in the box we have one Firefly controller user guide and I'll be going over all of the information in this with you guys shortly. We also have two sets of thumb grips. These are cute cat paw thumb grips and pink and white. We also have an interchangeable D-pad. There are two options. Um, one is on the controller and this is the extra. I'll show you how to swap those out. Then we have a charging cable and then last but not least the controller itself let's go ahead and get this open all right here's a first look at the controller and the first thing i'm noticing is that the controller is pink and clearly it's pink on the box but for some reason i was under the impression that the controller was white i'm pleasantly surprised to find that it's this really pretty light pink color we have these protectors here on the thumbsticks you can go ahead and remove those now this is to let you know that this is for the um, to get the RGB working, but I'll show you how to do all that in a minute. We can go ahead and peel that off. First impressions, I love this feel. It's like a smooth, soft feel. And then the back has like a like a grip to it. I really, really like that. It feels really great in your hands. It feels um, very similar to the Pro Controller, but it's not as heavy. It's quite light, actually. So this is the interchangeable D-pad that I was telling you about. To swap it out for, um, you can either have this kind of like inverted dome one or just the traditional one. I think I'm going to prefer the traditional, but all you have to do is pull it out. Got the one side out oh, like that. And then you can go ahead and press this one in and it should swap out similarly that was really easy to put on and that's how you swap the um, d-pad all right so as far as first impressions go with the buttons these are like very clicky I don't know if you can hear that oh the RGB turned on and then so are these they're a little bit softer the triggers though are like super soft and they don't um, go down very far. I had, did notice that right away. Everything else feels pretty good though. We do have um, mappable buttons back here. And then I believe one of these is for the RGB light. Let's go over the manual really quickly and then we can um, figure that all out. Actually, first I'm gonna go ahead and put the thumb grips on. I think I'm gonna do one of each grip. I do wanna mention that you will not be able to use thumb grips that are for the Nintendo Switch or the Switch Lite, but you can use any th thumb grips that were made for the Nintendo Switch Pro controller, Xbox, or PlayStation controllers. All right, those are on there. They fit really nicely, and I think the color goes really well with the controller especially this one. They're really pretty, nice and thick. They seem good quality. Um, I'm really happy with the free thumb grips. All right, so as far as charging, it did come with the charging cable. It's a basic USB to USB-C charging cable. Um, the box itself gives you more details about the battery. It lets you know that the charging time is 6.3 hours, so it'll take 6.3 hours to reach a full charge. And then that charge will last about two and a half hours if the RGB lights are off. It doesn't really say what your battery life looks like if you have the RGB lights on. As far as compatibility, that's also mentioned here in the side of the box as well as in the uh, manual. It is compatible with every Switch system. That's the Switch, Switch Lite, Switch OLED, Windows, iOS, SteamOS, and Android, meaning you could use this controller on your phone, iPad, computer, um, and Switch device. Some notable features that I did want to mention are the turbo button. There's a turbo button at the back of the controller and the user guide shows you how to set that turbo up if you're playing the type of game where um, a turbo would be beneficial to you. 
There's also interchangeable D-pads. I already showed you how to swap those out. And then they have um, this controller, sorry, features non-slip ergonomic grips. And I really love that um, touch and feel on the back of the controller. I think you're really gonna enjoy that too. All right, so before we move on to the interface and buttons and how to use this controller, set it up and everything, I think we should take a look at the RGB because it should have RGB lights in it that light up and show a paw pattern like this. So I'm going to dim my lights and try to show you that. All right, so to turn the RGB light on, you wanna hold the home button like this. Oh wow, now you see the pattern pop up. I think that's really cool and really pretty. I love the paw print pattern everywhere. Now this Firefly controller does come in different patterns. I just happened to choose the pink paw print one. They have a ton of different patterns to choose from, so I really encourage taking a look at that. Now I believe this button back here is to control the lights, so let's go ahead and turn them on and see if we can change the lights up. So hold home and then press this button. All right, so that's the yellowish light red um, purple pink green blue and then back to the orange and i think there's like a one that alternates colors All right, now let's get into the buttons. The front are your basic buttons, usual D-pad buttons, um, joysticks here, X, Y, X, Y, A, and B, plus and minus. This is a, a screenshot button and a home button. And this is um, very similar to the Switch Pro. Now, if you turn it around, this is where it's different. We have the turbo button here. Then we have mappable buttons here. And these are the two buttons that you would use to map each of these. So you would use MR to map XR and ML to map the XL. This button here is for the, um, you see the little sun on there? That's to control the different lights. And then this other button here is to control the vibration. I've realized that in a lot of my controller videos that I've done in the past, you guys are coming to them to look at the user guide because you got the controller and you don't have the guide for whatever reason. So I'm gonna go over this guide. Uh, if you have the guide, then you can go ahead and skip over this part. But if you don't, I'm just gonna quickly go over everything in the guide. So this first part here shows you how to set up the wired connection, which is pretty basic. You connect it to your um, dock and so on. Here are instructions for a wireless connection. It's a typical instructions for how to connect a wireless controller. Press and hold the Y plus home for three seconds and um, that should be able to connect it. Then over here we have operation method and LED indication. So this tells you about pairing mode and such and how to pair to PCs and different platforms. Here is the turbo and the auto turbo function. This is how to set up that turbo button if you wanted to use that. Then over here we have the vibration adjustment function and that shows you how to use the vibration button that I showed you earlier to set up the intensity of the vibration. There are um, five intensities, 100%, 75, 50, 25, and zero. The higher percentage would be um, the stronger the vibration. Here is how to reset um, the controller hardware. It tells you where the reset button is, how to reconnect the controller if it was disconnected from the device, um, the charging indicators, letting you know um, how the lights will flash and how they will indicate whether the device is being charged, if it's dead or if it's um, fully charged. And then here we have the lighting control instructions. And these are all instructions for how to control the um, RGB paw print uh, lighting. You can make it brighter, dimmer, um, change the color and such, and these are instructions on how to do so. And then there are more like advanced in instructions such as the macro and mapping function for the buttons in the back, and that'll tell you how to map the two mappable buttons, the back triggers that I showed you guys. All of those steps are in here. And then lastly, how to um, download and upgrade and how to contact support. The rest is the same thing in a few different languages. 
Um, if you need help with anything specifically, feel free to comment and I can help you um, troubleshoot or um, if you have any questions about this controller, I can help you set it up. Okay, so I'm just quickly going to try to connect this controller so we can make sure that everything um, connects well and easily. I'm going to hit the controllers button here on my Switch OLED and then I'm going to hit change grip order. And then I'm going to hold the home button and the Y button. Now it says paired, so I'm going to go ahead and hit A. I don't know what I did. I'm going to try again. So I'm holding home and Y. Now it's paired. Now that you see it there in the number one slot, I'm going to go ahead and hit A. And now our controller is paired. That was super easy. So I just wanted to show you guys that because I know I get that question a lot. Um, how to pair certain controllers. So most controllers you can pair very easily like that. All right, so to change the RGB color, we know we're pressing this button back here. And it vibrates each time. Now if you want to change the mode and not just the color, then you're going to press down that button and the plus button at the same time. This is the plus button, so we're going to hold both down. And that changed the mode. The first mode is called breathing light mode. The second mode is called quick flash mode. And then there's a third mode, which is the vibration lighting mode. I personally like the um, breathing one the most, I think. The flashing one I think would be kind of annoying, <laughs> personally, but this one's really nice. And then if you want to turn the light on and off, you hold that um, brightness button in the back for five seconds, one, two, three, four. Well, that was four, and it's off, and to turn it back on, you hold for five seconds. Three, oh, that was faster than I thought, and now it's on. So to toggle the vibration, it's really easy. You just press the vibration button here, and you can feel it um, cycle between the five different vibration intensities and just stop when you've picked the intensity that suits you best. That's all for today's video. If you enjoyed, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Love you guys so much. See you in the next one, Kitty and Jerry.